okay this one they guided me on and this one is called a spiritual slider um, and they stated there's no shortcuts and all the shortcuts all the shortcuts are just traps for you to get caught up and actually go the opposite way that you want to um, and they described it the spiritual slider is basically a sliding scale on one side it is uh, what we would consider negative or dark and then on the other side is positive and light and they said on the spiritual slider you can only be in one place one pol polarity you can't be in both just like you can't be pissed off and then be happy at the same time you can't be the runner and the chaser at the same time and like I men mentioned before these two polarities since it's against universal law it's impossible for these two polarities these two types of energies to be if they're predominantly negative predominantly positive they can't be in one vessel and so when your light is eaten up by either I guess negative things behaviors thoughts it's like you dim it you become darker and this light is is what's used to connect you to uh, higher forms of energy manifestation positive assistance guides knowledge downloads and then when that light's dim the energy well the information everything that I mentioned before becomes more on the negative side darker the one side produces life the other side actually destroys life and causes imbalance so all these shortcuts you're not in your process of learning and loving yourself <clears throat> it causes you to be more accessible to the dark or negative aspects when you haven't done the inner work you are easily manipulated swayed when you don't love and know yourself why and how you think or do things to know what is right or wrong at the moment or if, if you're justified um, what things can be harmful or helpful it gets a little blurry and confusing especially when you get caught up in your emotions in a situation what's more predominantly negative or positive it can get skewed and then it's harder even at the moment to truly understand what's going on with the cause and the effect it's like not being able to see the train wreck before it happens they're teaching you how to see the train wreck before it happens and the only way to do the work of knowing and loving self the only way is with isolation to sit in your own unadulterated energy your own, to learn your truth and to receive the information you need the downloads from all your spiritual support that's positive there is negative um, since like does attract like which your environment can easily taint distort slow down and even direct your process into another direction and then also I'm going to be doing another video um, for the fact that these polarities the negative and the positive cannot be in one vessel and it benefits you I'll do another video they taught me I guess a little I guess I don't know if you want to call it a meditation also a meditation and what to embed in everything you do but it does require you to have know your true intentions why you're doing things and it has to be positive so it'll be on another video and so when people do steal things from you um, intellectual material copying you or, or even like using magic and energy that anything that is yours because they're doing coming from a negative aspect and they can't and, and they're trying to steal it to make it theirs <clears throat> they're inorganically putting two polarities into their vessel but because 
you're being more positive, everything you put out is positive, it actually, everything they steal from you is toxic for them. So I'll do another video on that one to show you how you can do it and use it too. And so you don't use any magic, you don't collect any karma, and it's like putting like a boogie trap on, on your work and everything that's yours, that someone tries to steal or influence or claim as theirs. It's really amazing. So I'll do another video on that one.